Hi, I'm Jay Bunting Johnson. Subscribe if you're new and you like this video. Uh, welcome to another episode of Man of Real. Today we're going to be talking about a little film I saw called Scrapper, a little British independent film starring Harris Dickinson, who you may have seen in The King's Man. That was the first time I certainly saw him. Also, Lola Campbell, who's the star of the movie, really, uh, a, a character called Georgie, who, who also is Scrapper herself. The film was directed by a young lady called Charlotte Regan, who, as far as I can see, had previously done some shorts, so this is her transition into feature films. I guess they did well enough for her to get a bit of financing to make her first feature, which is no mean feat. This is exactly the kind of British film that ultimately gets made. It's, it, it ticks all the boxes, you know, it's working class life, check, life on a council estate, check, a hint of multiculturalism, even though the two central characters are white, check. So uh, you have yet another in the line of BBC, BFI films, bringing up a young lady who who's made in a slice of life. The question still always within these things is, is this film done well? Is it good? Is it authentic? Are the performances good? What are they like? How strong, authentic, distinctive is the director's voice? All these things are still important, despite the fact that it is exactly the type of film that the BFI and the BBC love to pat themselves on the back over. In regards to the story of Scrapper, it's essentially about a young little girl who is like a Swiss army knife of a little girl, really, is like a little con man, little Arthur Daly, if you remember Minder from back in the day. She's a little bit of a wheeler dealer, and she needs to be because she's she's just lost her mother and she's sort of conning the world, her environment around her, into believing that she has someone looking after her. When in reality, she's all by herself, keeping the, the flat that she grew up in with her mother, her deceased mother, exactly the same. And so it's about her, and it's it's all based around an, a, a, an estate with a bunch of quirky, multicultural side characters. First and central to that being Alan Ouzon, who plays her best friend, and it's a really nice sort of natural chemistry that they have. A main fat of the story is essentially someone turns up claiming to be her father who she's never really seen before doesn't really know of basically because she's living alone it's kind of like well i'm gonna live here too and it becomes a question of is this guy this guy could be anything of course it could be a, a number of um underhand criminal things and we're talking at the end of the day about little girls as as crafty as she is this character's name is jason played by harris dickinson and it's about their lack of trust that of course grows into some kind of trust and it's also about who he really is and the thing that i really liked about this film is that it's always good natured it's a film that likes people so i have to assume that the director kind of likes people it's a character study particularly of the main sort of three characters being the little girl, the supposed dad, and and the little girl's best friend, and really it's the two the two of them. It's really a character study between those two. So Charlotte Regan, it says on Google, cut her teeth on making grime music videos and sort of, and I and I have to assume that some of the angles that she finds with her cinematographer are down to that. They're really sort of crafty little cool shots that really add to the estate slice of real life vibe you know they're shot just off kilter and just differently enough to make it feel like it could have been a, a docudrama or it could have been a music video and so the cinematography really helps the film out and gives it uh, some edge and some of it's really beautiful as well the characters in it that you do see feel like something out of a sitcom rather than feeling like characters i've me i mean i'm a londoner and this film doesn't feel like the specificity of the characters living on the estate are enough other than the character jason played by harris dickinson and also lola campbell who plays georgie everything around that that also is just as important uh world building i suppose even if it's just a council estate doesn't quite click for me. Also, the stakes in this film are, are very, very low. It, I felt like perhaps there was more the movie could have mined. The light and the comedic touches are there. The world is built somewhat, but the depths of darkness that must also exist within a story like that aren't quite plunged deep enough. Lola Campbell, the moment that she is on screen, um, you're like, oh, okay, who's she? She's like a little mini wheeler dealer. She's full of personality. The first act of the film 
is her most interesting portion and it really sets up an interest in in this little girl's story and that's down so much to her personality and just how how much flavor she has and then enter jason playing uh, her possible father and he's really the masterstroke i did see harris dickinson in the king's man i enjoyed it you know i i, I always enjoy watching ray fines rasputin was was fun and he was bland that said he he didn't necessarily stand out and make me think oh this is a voice i should be paying attention to this film however is that for him you kind of go oh he really knows what he's playing he knows what he is in the film his function he, he's he's clearly either researched or met the type of person he has a very firm hand on what he's playing and it transcends it it, it comes over perfectly he was so good he felt like a guy off the street playing a role. That is the fuel. That central relationship really has to work and we really have to fall in love with Georgie and Jason on some level, and we do. So yeah, overall, this is a sweet, small scale calling card for the director, Charlotte Regan. It's an introduction as to who she is. I, I have no doubt that she'll go on to do more well-rounded work as she as she progresses through the industry, but I think that it's there's for her certainly to get more chances, get more bites of the apple. It's not a film that's quite as inventive and fresh as it thinks it is, uh, is, is my caveat to it, which I've gone into. It's, it's probably also a reflection on just how deeply these people funding films are looking like. It doesn't feel as brave as they would have us believe. The two main actors are white characters, nothing wrong with that. Lots of characters around those characters within this estate are Asian and, and black and this and that, but they're not sketched accurately in my opinion. It's all, it's kind of quirky and twee but without specificity and as a result it isn't a true reflection of that kind of life I guess is my gripe with it, you know. It's a good polished film all in all with some nice beats, quirky rhythms. I wish I could say that I had a stronger sense of Charlotte Regan's voice. Nonetheless, she makes a polished film. The central two form performances really prop the film up and see it through to the finish line, particularly um, Harris Dickinson. That was sick. The, that was shocking. Would I rush out to see it in the cinema? Not necessarily. I think it would do perfectly well on BBC iPlayer. It is a good enough first film that doesn't waste your time and does show promise. If you're inclined to see a small, quirky, not exactly authentic, but enjoyable slice of life based up, based around in and around the council estate, get out and go and see that. That's been my review. See you on the next time. Guys, we're trying to get to 500 likes. We're really close. Yeah, subscribe, it's free. Like, that's also free. It really, really helps me continue to make this. And it is free <laughs> you know it's the flick of a finger i will see you on the next one love peace afro grease till next time boom so as many of you know i'm also a filmmaker consider watching my stuff and sharing your thoughts the episodes can be found here and probably here we've made a little web series do check it out share your thoughts and donate if you can there's lots of giveaways and the link can be found below in the description